G'day, g'day, it's Swan Willie here, and welcome back to a brand new Football Manager series on the channel. Here we are finally in Football Manager. Now, I have been requested for a long while now in my Motorsport Manager series that I get back to Football Manager, and I've been thinking about it, and I want a short-term save, so we're going to go with PSG here. But they are, these are our goals on the screen right now. So it's not going to be easy by any means. Our main goal of the series is to win the Champions League with a few minor and bonus goals that we'll go through soon. But like I said, a heavily requested series. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. Check out some other content, plenty of tutorials, a little bit of motorsport manager. And we're trying to integrate some real life sort of football and Formula 1 content into the channel over the next few weeks as well. So check that out. Subscribe if you're not already. Um, our goal is to hit a thousand million in the year. It really helps out if you like the video as well. But yes, without further ado, let's start breaking down these goals with PSG here. So this is basically going to try and be a one season save. We'll play one season to see where we are at the end of it. But main goal, win Champions League, minor goals, win Liga, win Copa de France, and win a trophy des champions. So we can get our first goal ticked off pretty early in the season, which is good with that uh, trophy des champions because it's like the Super Cup. Now, our bonus goals is go invincible in the league. So that is going to be difficult because consistency is, you know, it's a hard thing to achieve in football manager, but that is a bonus goal. Score 100 goals as a team in a season. This is across all competitions. So really you play about 50 games a season when you've got 38 in the league. And if we go deep into the Champions League, I think that'll be doable. Um, 100 goals, but we need to get about two goals per game, which hopefully we're doing. Um, a bonus goal is win every game in the Champions League group stage. I was going to do Invincible throughout the whole tournament, but I feel like it was too similar to the league. So a bit of an easy one, uh, win every game in the Champions League group stage. Depends on our group, I suppose. And then Mbappe score 50 goals. I really want to try and get the most out of killing Mbappe. Um, he hasn't got 50 goals in the season yet, I don't believe. Or maybe that's not in the league. I'm just going off football manager history. So he probably has got 50 goals. I think it only counts the one in the league. We'll check that when we get into the game. But yes, that is our goal. Across all competitions, to have Mbappe to score 50 goals. Um, we've got to break the record currently held by Monaco, which is 16 games, one in a row. I thought I thought that was a bit of a weird one. The PSG didn't already break that. So that's our goal. Um, under Spartan and Willie, we're going to try and break that record. And our final goal is break the most points in the season, which is currently um, set by us of PSG, 96 points in the season. Hopefully we can break that 100 point barrier. It'd be quite interesting. But yeah, there are our goals. As you can see in the bottom right there, we actually have a out of 10 score that will give us at the end of this first season, depending on how we go. Hopefully it's 10 out of 10, but I honestly don't know how I'll go with PSG. I've never played as a team like them before in Football Manager. So yeah, just sort of scratch the itch, see how I go with my format. I want to try a couple things this series. And um, if this series does well, we'll look at doing another series. We've got a couple of other ideas in mind, but leave any suggestions, thoughts, feedback on the series down in the comments below. Any suggestions for future series as well. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into some Football Manager. Alright, so in terms of what is actually expected of us in the game is sign high rep players, play attacking football, which I want to do anyway, grow club's reputation, which will happen with success, increase commercial revenue, again, if we win stuff, it will increase, maintain the club status as the most reputable team in France. I hope we don't drop down that low. Obviously, in real life, France, uh, not France, PSG actually didn't win Liga 1 or Champions League. We're also going out to Man City in the Champions League and losing to Lille in Liga 1. So, we hopefully can do better than that. But work within the wage budget. Look, when your wage budget is 4 and 4.6 million, I think that's achievable. We only have to reach the semi final of the Champions League, but I'd love to win it the first season. First time I've asked him to smash this uh, sort of series goals. 10 out of 10 would be fantastic. Make me feel a lot better about my skill and football manager. But Liga, win Liga, we knew that. Uh, Cuba de France, win that. Hopefully we can do that. So I don't care about the Super Cup, but I care about the Super Cup because it's just silverware we can win. So yeah, look, if you think if you think this series is too easy, I encourage you to play along with me, you know, have the same goals, you know, I encourage that anyway, even if you want to challenge yourself. I don't think it's the PSG is as easy to save as people say, but I'll soon see, I'll soon challenge myself. But um, yeah, that's our sort of club vision of this season. In terms of how we're going to line up this season, I want to really just from the start, just attack, attack, attack. Now, I haven't quite... Uh, tweaks with the tactic a bit, but this is sort of the formation, general team selection I want to go with. Obviously, Neves and Mbappe start the season injured, as we can see there. 
But I want to put Mbappe up front because I do have to score some goals with him. I really want to get the most out of him. Um, we're going to have Neymar on the left here. I'm not sure about Di Maria on the right. I might look at moving on Di Maria, to be honest, and bring in someone a bit younger. Um, you know, we need to, we want some attacking flair. Our defense is kind of not as good as our attack, as you can see there by the ability, but that's all representative anyway. Compared to everyone else in Liga, you know, our defense is probably double decent. So I don't know if we need to improve much there. Um, I think maybe some depth would be important. We do have Icardi who can come in on a striker if we need sort of more attacking, something different in the attack wise. You know, this is a great squad at the end of the day. Moise Keane as well. So really, I think we're fine. We 40 million is a lot, but also, you know, prices in foot manager are pretty pricey. So it's not like we're going to be able to bring in anyone absolutely massive, but we'll have a look. I'll have a look in the transfer market and um, yeah, maybe we'll look at moving some players on to try and free up some more cap room as well cap room wage budget because I can see there we only have like 120,000 or something there isn't it uh, it gives you a, yeah 120,000 exactly apparently um, so yeah it's not that much when you think about it bringing in the player I mean look who's on look on Neymar and Mbappe are on here 950,000 euros a week and Mbappe is on 450,000 euros a week so it's absolutely mental the amount of money you have to pay but um yeah that's sort of the way we want to line up I'm going to tweak with this in pre-season I mean how long do we have to the first game? Uh, where's the Super Cup? Do they play that? Yeah, they play that halfway through the year. So when I said in the intro that we can tick one off early, I was actually wrong because I forgot that ev not everything's like England. But um, yeah, so I'm going to tweak with this tactic in pre-season and look at bringing in someone on the right maybe and um, yeah, see how Di Maria goes. Pre-season in the books here and I have to say it was kind of a perfect pre-season going off the results here. Um... 3-0 win, 2-0 win, 4-0 win, 2-1 win, and a 17-0 win. Um, that was just sort of a morale boost we did earlier this week before our first game of the season here against Marseille, which we'll play in a moment. On the transfer front, I looked at a couple different transfers. I, at first, I was going to put all our money into a little player that you've probably heard of, Fatty, for that attacking right position to replace Di Maria, but the finances were just making me feel a little, it's like 70 million plus Di Maria, plus like another 70 million in future transfers. I was going to do it, but honestly, we didn't have the funds to get across the line, and um, I did sort of have a chat to the ball, but they said, nah, not, not need him, so I, I kind of agreed with them. I did feel a little guilty, but I have made a signing. If we go over here... And we have signed Pau Torres here from Villarreal, I believe. Yeah, Villarreal, great little player. I can't wait to see how he goes there. We did need a bit more depth of that centre-back position, in my opinion. And um, he has the ability to grow to a fourth star. I'm pretty sure we signed him. We signed him for 20 million. And then there's, I think it got up to about uh, 35, 40 million if a couple things happen, like win the Champions League, and then there's some installments over the next couple of years. But as he's already valued at 55 million, and he's got improvement, he's still young, so I'm very happy with that signing. I think that's much more responsible than um, signing Fatsy. Plus, Di Maria was pretty good in preseason, I'm not going to lie. And we also had uh, Julian Draxler at that attacking right mid spot as well, who did bits, and he's actually wanted. But I don't know if we'll get rid of him. I'm pretty happy with the team, to be honest. I really am loving playing with Mbappe. He is such a player in this game. Um, he came on the second half against this team. I mean, um, they're not even like in the... They're an amateur team, but it was very interesting to watch. He, how many goals did he get? He got five goals in one half of football. I'm hoping we're going to smash that 50-goal um, sort of target this season for him. But yeah, that's sort of a summary of preseason. I think it went pretty well. I'm really looking forward to the season now. Of course, we've got a big season ahead of us. This isn't even all the Champions League games as well. It's just literally just Liga and the first couple rounds of the Cup. So... Massive season ahead of us, but we'll get it started here with against Marseille. This is it. This is what all my work the last couple hours has led to here. This is the team that's going to go out against our first game of the season against Marseille. Of course, we want to win every game. Well, not every game, but we want to go undefeated this season. It's one of our bonus objectives. And plus, we've got to break that record of win 16 games in a row. So, a lot is hinging on our league form. Not as much as the Champions League. Of course, that's the whole goal of the series is to win the Champions League. But... A lot hinging on our league as well. So I'm not sure whether to play Mbappe. We might start Akadi because he's only really meant to play 45 minutes. And we don't want to really risk him getting a massive injury. Um, Akadi is doing bits anyway. So we're going to submit the team here. Also, if you like the skin, it's in the description below. I also have a tutorial on the channel on how to install it. So check that out as well. It's the DF11 face panel skin, I believe. It makes the faces 
better, bigger and more bigger on the screen. But um, yeah, we're going to quickly go to the dressing room here and go, where's opposition instructions? I honestly haven't played this game in ages, but opposition, I do want to sort of put... Um, let's show on weaker foot for these boys. Front three. I don't want to do closing down and stuff just yet because I think we're pretty good with... Um, the limited opposition instructions we had during pre-season. So back to the dressing room here. Um, there's a lot of focus on the dynamics this year in FM, so we want to make sure we keep them up scratch, but we're favourites for a reason. Go out there and show them why. I'm really happy with what we're doing. Um, it's a special day, but it's always a tremendous occasion. Let's get it done. Let's chuck it in 3D for the camera. I do like playing on 2D just so you can, um, you know, tactically have a bit of better look at what's going on. But nine minutes in already, wow, that was quick. And I do not like how zoomed in this is already. Hang on a minute. No, it's already out it's fully. But here we are on the ball with Di Maria. Uh, Florenzi on the right here. It's going to cross it in. And Akadi puts us 1-0 up already in 10 minutes. We take the lead against Marseille in the big derby. Uh, beautifully done. And what a way to start the game, ladies and gentlemen. Already top of the table. I think that just popped up there. Good little play down the right. Florenzi from the byline. Pep Guardiola, Man City. Crosses in. Akadi with an easy tap in. You're paid to get those ones. And they were actually third on the table on goal difference. So a lot of early goals around the league unless they play their game earlier. But decent start here. What I love about this team in preseason is we can score in open play. Like we build up like just then. And then we also are really deadly on the counter attack. So to be able to do both of those things is just amazing. So hopefully we can carry that forward into the league. But here's Neymar on the left. Into Akadi, who will knock it in for our second goal of the game in 25 minutes. And um, yeah, look. We're, we wanted to feed the striker goals because, of course, we need Mbappe to get 50 goals this season. And that is where Mbappe is going to fit into our system at that striker position. So it's good to see so many good opportunities getting fed to him on a platter. But Akadi with a good finish. I don't know what the defender was doing there. But 2-0 up here, nice and early. Beautifully done. Our expected goal is already at 0.96. So lovely work. And we're still not top. So there must be some big winning... A lot of goals being scored. I didn't update, that's why. So... Of course, they got Steve Mandanda in goal, but here they might have an attack here. Um, Dimitri Payat is a very hated man in uh, a certain part of London. Nah, I don't know if he still is these days, but good bit of run, and we will clear it. And it could be an encounter attack here. This is what I, exactly what I was talking about. We can score from open play, build up, and from the counter. A bit of a slow counter here, but we're going to win it back. Hopefully, we don't give them a chance, but Kazawa on the left to Neymar. Herrera back to Neymar. Lovely stuff. And can Akadi get a first off? Wow. Okay, Neymar's just going to bash that in to make it three. And lads, what a first half it is. I honestly was not expecting this at all. Marseille are, I believe, a direct title competitor. So to be 3 0 up in 40 minutes here is amazing. It is at home, we've got to remember. But Neymar swacks it in. And I'm really looking forward to seeing how he goes as well um, this season. Neymar is just pivotal. He's our vice captain, of course, as well. But. First half, and I cannot argue with that. The boys deserve some credit. Keep it going, lads. Don't drop off. So we'll look to sub on Mbappe soon, but I don't want to take off Akadi because he's on a hat trick. And honestly, I don't want to change anything. The system is working as it is right now, obviously. Being 3-0 up, you can't argue with that. But here they are. They're going to have a chance here um, to start. We'll see if we can win the ball back and turn it into a counter-attacking chance. Here they go. Oh, but Dean Marie is going to get on the ball. Good tackle there by the Marseille player. Um, but we'll snuff it out again. Di Maria on the ball. Uh, I don't know how many subs we get, actually. Um, maybe I should have looked, that up. looked at that. But here's Akadi on the ball. He's chasing his hat trick. He'll definitely want it before he gets subbed off for Mbappe in a couple minutes. Because um, I do want to start bringing Mbappe on towards the end of the game. He's, he's still injured. And here's Neymar. Akadi gets his hat trick. Neymar shoots, snuffs it out, and then crosses it into Akadi on the rebound. And Akadi taps it in for his third easy goal of the game. He has had it so easy today. I'm not going to lie to you, but he is taking that any day of the week. Beautiful work from Neymar. Takes a bit of a lazy shot, but wins it back and crosses it into Akadi. Who easily tapped that in, and now it's time we bring on our boy Mbappe, who's going to try and get in on the route, get in on the fun here. Four 0 up against Marseille. Akadi had a beautiful game. He was really clapped off. Neymar's got two assists and a goal, which is exactly what we want to see. Neymar's going to cross it in from the corner. We're going to be able to recover it. Probably go back to Neymar here. Um, nope, sort of been closed down here, but we're going to pass it back to Kimpembe. But back to Neymar. It's going to get into Mbappe. Hopefully, oh penalty. Oh, no. Okay, he's going to go to VAR. I was giving it a penalty. I honestly couldn't tell you. I'm a bit confused here. If it is, we're going to give it to Mbappe. 
um, if we can, if we change it in time. Penalty awarded. Who's taking it? Please be Mbappe. Neymar. Okay, that's fine. We'll let him, we'll let him Neymar tame it, take it. It's not much we can do now. Saved. Okay. We should probably change it to Mbappe's top of the penalty taker. Oh, I can change it there, but it's a bit late now, isn't it? Um, <laughs> I would change it now. I could. But, uh, yeah, 4-0 here. 66th minute. Of course, Mbappe's on the field, so hopefully he gets a goal before the game ends. Uh, but they're holding up the play here in the left nicely. Good bit of ball there, and they won't get that. That's offside, I think. It, that's why the thing didn't pop up. Oh, VAO again. This really slows down the game. Um, but there we go. 4 0. Still, not 4 1. So skip that disallowed goal, and let's get on with this game a little bit, boys. I see their expected goal is 0.13. Ours is 2.64. So, yeah, shows you how dominant we've been today. But make a quick sub here. Um, let's take off Dean Ray, put on Draxler. I want to see Draxler have a good season as well. I'm going to take on Kim Kimpembe, who has been, eh, Pau Torres, going to get his debut today. Um, off the bench, you can look to start soon, hopefully. Oh, but Mil Milik will look to get one. I know, I know his name, I just made sure I want to pronounce it. And we lose the clean sheet, which is a bit disappointing, but at least we don't have to pay at our defenders. We don't want to see the goal again. It was from a set piece. They apparently had one coming. Of course, they had that disallowed one. Oh, and they might have a little bit of a resurgence here. We might need to sort of yell at the team, get a bit shouty-shouty. Um, but lucky we didn't because we could be on a chance here. We don't want to demand more after we just score, but we'll see what happens. As you see, there's my, my little manager there on the sideline. Payat to Milik, who's already got one. <sighs> All right, demand more from the lads. This is not good enough. How are we giving away so many chances here? It's a good head, but Neymar's going to get there. Ever since Mbappe's come on, we haven't seen really a good chance apart from that penalty. Draxler here. Cross it to Neymar. Nope, he's just going to kick it into Rosie, unfortunately for us. But here they are with potentially a chance for a second goal here. But Navas with a big save. Good work. Now, we've got to get a counter-attack from the corner here, hopefully. Nice have equalized against um, Nimes there. I believe it's... Look, I'll probably pronounce everything wrong, but, you know, I'm giving it my best effort. That's all I can do, really. But here's Neymar. He's going to run through it all by himself and take a shot. It's a bit of a greedy play, Neymar, but to be fair, it was close. It was close, because I was a bit tired, so we look to bring him on. Bring off uh, um, Diallo there. Confirm sub. I believe we get four subs. Uh, I don't think you'd get five. We'd definitely get at least four, because obviously I've made four today, but I doubt we'd get five. But here we go. 4-1, and with a ch last-minute chance here. Ander Herrera is going to play it over to Mbappe. He's going to get a through. Chance to make it five here and get his first goal of the season. He will. Lovely stuff. We wanted him to get a goal, and he will today. What a goal that was. He bet the defender, and a tight finish under the keeper. Lovely work from killing Mbappe there. Ander Herrera with a beautiful ball. He has good touch to get past the defender. Beats this defender here. I thought he might have got it, but smashes it into the bottom left. Mbappe is off. 49 to go. And it is a massive 5-1 win. And uh, you got to congratulate the lads on that one. Build up the team dynamics. Um, yeah, bragging rights. Fantastic result. Again, we can beat them on the counter with possession or on the counter. It's just great to see. And um, what? Bid rejected. Oh, I think people are making, my staff members are making bids for me. I should probably change that. But yeah, what a game that was. Really enjoyed that one. I hope you guys did too. All right. So first game of the season all done. And I really couldn't have asked for a better game apart from maybe if we've got a clean sheet. Now, in terms of what how the series is going to work is I think I'm going to go with the traditional football manager, you know, bring you back for a game or two, an episode. I do want to break the game down a bit more than that. I don't want to have 10 minute games. So maybe that was just like the first opening game. There's lots of goals there, so I couldn't have really cut too much out of it because it was so quick between highlights. But I'm going to go ahead off camera and play a bunch of games. Obviously, the league isn't the biggest focus here. I really want to focus and hone down on the Champions League games. I don't know if we'll show all the group uh, group stage games, but I want to show the majority of them and probably show all the knockout games just because that's where the main goal of the series lies. So we want to sort of get through this first part of the season and get straight to the group stage. But um, yeah, I'll bring you back for the occasional league game. It's a big game. 
And um, yeah, then we'll sort of have a summary of how we went during episodes. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this first episode. Please let me know if you want to see more league action, less Champions League action, whatever it is. Maybe we can look at adding some more goals in. Let me know any feedback, thoughts, suggestions on the series and future series, of course. And if you want to see more Football Manager on the channel, make sure to hit the like. Really support the hell out of this series and I'll know that that's what you guys want and we'll look to bring more to the channel. If it sort of doesn't do, eh, maybe we won't look at doing it. So yeah, if you want it, give the videos all the love and subscribe if you want more content like this. And um, yeah, it really helps me out. Road to a thousand for gun, hopefully by the end of the year. Join the Discord server, follow me on Twitter, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.